So Harvey is in the hallway, his arms perhaps full of, of books and papers. He yells down the steps for Cho, who's still in the cellar with Wagner, tell him to get up here, bring the stuff that he's got. Let's see if we can get past this magical barrier and get into the parlor. Hey everybody, Robert from Black Belt Gaming. We are heading into round six, trying to see if we can get into this parlor. But before we can, we need to go through the mythos phase. Let's begin by adding one doom to the agenda. That's going to be three out of seven. The ghouls are getting closer. One encounter card per investigator. Harvey Walters is first. We get dissonant voices. This is going to keep us from playing assets or events until the end of the round. Let's take one for Cho. Uh-oh. Rotting remains. Well, um, it could be that perhaps that lovely, lovely uh, laboratory assistant, uh, maybe he happened to spot her corpse uh, as he is still down in the cellar. So he needs to test willpower at a uh, challenge rating of three, and for each points he fails by, he takes one horror. All right, Nathaniel has a willpower of three, and we're going to commit one card. We have two copies of this in our deck. Let's use one. We're going to take the willpower from Get Over Here, boost that to a score of four, and let's see how that's going to come out for us. Let's draw our secret token, and we get, uh-oh, we get the minus two. So that's going to be a score of two versus the difficulty of three. We missed it by one. So we're going to take one horror damage. Well, despite that setback, Nathaniel is still in pretty good shape. So uh, that's going to take us to the end of the Mythos phase. We're headed back to the investigators. And let's start with perhaps Cho, getting him out of the cellar and into the hallway. So first action, we're going to join the professor in the hallway. And let's, as a group, spend our clue tokens. We're going to spend six. All right, six is enough to flip this one. So let's see what's on the other side. Using the barrel from the attic, you carry ice and snow from the cellar. Interesting. And hurl it at the barrel, uh, the barrier. The barrier sparks and shudders as it consumes the ice, then hisses and fades out of existence. The barrier blocking the passage to the parlor has vanished, so now we get to reveal the parlor. Put the set-aside Lita Chantler into play in the parlor. Spawn the set-aside ghoul priest in the hallway. All right, step by step, we're going to reveal the parlor. The parlor has some options on it here. It says uh, we have the option to spend an action and resign. We're saying this is too much for me, and you <laughs> run out the front door fleeing in panic. And it says, while Lita is not controlled by a player, she gains an action parlay test intellect four. If you succeed, we can take control of her. Interesting. All right, so we can perhaps persuade her to, to help us out. All right, so I think this is what she looks like. Uh, it says, while you control her, she gains... Well, she actually gives each investigator plus one combat. And when an investiga investigator at your location successfully attacks a monster, that investigator deals plus one damage. Well, that's, that's good. But this seems to be what's going on. What have you done? A woman with a torch stands in your parlor. 
a glimmer of hatred in her eyes. Interesting. What have you done to my barrier? She screams furious. Before you can answer, a ghastly wail sounds behind you, and a creature wearing robes and a deer skull mask tears through the wall, advancing toward you. All right, so if the ghoul priest is defeated, we get to, I guess, flip this card. And here is the ghoul priest, a humanoid monster ghoul elite. Uh, prey, he goes for the one that has the highest combat level. It's a hunter, and he retaliates. So I guess that means that if you fight him, he's going to do his damage to you. That's awful. A figure in red robes wearing a bone mask. It gibbers and snarls before leaping to attack. All right. Um, I think something needed to happen there that was a little different than I, than I played it. I think we needed to go to the end of the round. So... I think the investigators should have sort of finished their cycle and at the end of the round then opened the barrier. So before we engage in combat or fleeing for our lives, we sort of need to give our investigators a few more actions and end the round. And then I think we actually need to go through another mythos uh, phase. So... Nathaniel Cho went upstairs, and he would have been there in the hallway. Let me move, remove this ghoul priest just for a moment. They would have been in the hallway together, and he would have had two more actions. So let's think about what he would do. I would say with his second action, he would draw a card, and we get stand together again. And he's got one more action, so perhaps for his last action, he might, um, he might actually play this event, which gives each of the investigators two more resources. All right, so that is done. Uh, our, our investigators are kind of loaded with resources now. Harvey would still get three actions. I think uh, he's going to draw a card, Vault of Knowledge, and then he's going to use his ability here on his character card to draw a second card for free. And we've got Feed the Mind. I'm counting 11 cards in my hand. I think that's a bit too many. A maximum hand is eight. And since we lost our laboratory assistant, uh, we still have to follow that. So I just drew two, so that means I would need to discard one. And I have two copies of, of this one in my hand. I think I'm going to discard one of those. So that gets me to currently ten cards. So that would have allowed me to end the round with eight. And then now I have ten. So we have some other actions remaining, but due to the dissonant voices, I can't play assets or events from Harvey. I still think I'm going to have for his last two actions to draw a couple of cards here and just make some choices here as I end my turn. All right, unfortunately, we're going to have to discard all of these. And that takes Harvey down to eight cards. So that would have been them before they can fully get through this barrier. So the enemy phase, the flesh eater would have stayed upstairs in the attic. Then uh, we would go to upkeep and we refresh. Each investigator draws a card. We get Witten Green for Harvey and more boxing gloves for Cho, and then each one gets one more resource. 